There oh. he is. What's up, guys? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Joined by Vogelback, Vogie. Someone in there has got the got it. Is it just Vogie? Like, what, what, are the, what are the guys in the dugout go with? Uh, let's just go with Vogie. Some days, it depends on what, what the day is, but we'll just go with Vogie. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Me more interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing some deep research. And I have a question. We're going all the way back to 2011. Wow. It's a long time ago. State championship game. Mm -hmm. You scored the winning run, walk-off win in the state championship. I did. How often do you watch that video? Because I just watched it four times because it's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't watch that video very often because it's me okay. running and scoring and not me hitting the homer or anything. All right. But you throw the helmet down, and then you get dogpiled? And did you think you were going to die? Because dog being at the bottom of a dog pile is not that fun. Yeah, I definitely got claustrophobic. That wasn't fun. It was fun for about five <laughs> seconds, and then I was ready for this to be over. <laughs> yeah. Let me out. Yeah. Get off me. Yeah, Where's you, that? Have no, uh, you, you have no control of getting off or anything. You just got to wear it, and it's not fun. That's a nice. I mean, we're a couple little guys, so that's literally a nightmare. Um, <laughs> where's that? Uh, where's that rank? Like all time? I mean, walk off high school state championship. That's the dream for eighteen years. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea where that ring is. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was. It was a great. I loved high school baseball. It was awesome. I had a blast. I'm so really close with a lot of some of my best friends are from that team. But I have no idea where that ring is. I don't have any idea where my High A Daytona championship ring is either. I just, I don't know. Oh. Man, how not many really other championships? I'm not really a ring guy. Okay. Uh, okay. But the, your teammate who hit it, Hudson, is that his name? Hudson. Is he with the Twins still? That's what I was looking at. No, he was, I think he played like two or three years with them, but he's, I don't think he's playing anymore. Okay. All right. Okay. Sports, sports man. Well, we, Talk some show baseball. Yeah, we'll talk. What's baseball. what's going on with the Brewers? How are you guys doing? I know there's hot. It went cold a little bit. And now you guys are going back again. One game over 500. Good vibes. We're back home or what? Yeah, for sure. We've been playing the uh, past few games. We've been playing really well. The bats and um, pitching have kind of linked up. It's good to get Yelly back. Um, and uh, it's always good to put him in the lineup and uh, put kind of slate everybody where they need to go. Uh, but no, I, I mean, it's a good group of guys uh we have fun we i feel like we got a close group and uh you know it's early in the season still so just uh taking it day by day and having fun and you know whatever comes our way we just deal with it last year crazy year for every baseball player and everyone in the planet but crazy year for you you got traded twice in the middle of the shortened season i think i think it was a two-day stint in toronto or two yeah. games in toronto or something like that when uh so when you got to the Brewers, you masked. Uh, you you went there. They put you in the lineup right away. Looking at it now, three twenty eight, four eighteen. Uh, just kind of, yeah. Was it? One question is when the Blue Jays told you like, "Hey, we just traded you again." Where you're like, "What the hell is that about? I just got here." And then B, was it just a comfort thing in Milwaukee? Uh, what what kind of click? Because at the end of last year, you were raking for him. Yeah, I mean, I was. I'd spent more time in Buffalo getting COVID tested and everything like that than I did actually on the team, I think. Um, <laughs> so when that happened, it was like, uh, you know, it was kind of like, okay, here we go again. Um, and then coming over here was, I mean, it was actually a pretty easy transition just with the group of guys that were here. Um, and I think that that had something to do with, you know, going out and being able to perform and just play. Um, I got in a good groove and coming over here with a team that, you know, was expected to make the playoffs and wanted to make the playoffs. Uh, that's a big difference, um, you know, coming from where I came from with, you know, not really winning over there to coming over here and, um, you know, being in the playoffs and being in a uh, winning atmosphere. Mm. That was beautiful. Ah, I'm emotional. Devin Williams on last week. He's got arguably the most devastating changeup in the game neutralizes almost all lefties. The other guy out in that bullpen is Hayter, who's got one of the nastiest arm angles for lefties. If you got to pick an at-bat, are you – I mean, we won't share this with anyone. This is 
<laughs> would you rather go up against? Huh. Um, I'd rather just walk on four pitches on either one <laughs> over at base. Four uncompetitive pitches and I can go to first base. I just stand there. That's my dream. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice to have those two guys in the, you know, bullpen coming in and just you, know, you get a lead and you kind of just give it to them and, you know, let them do their thing. I was looking at some pitchers that you raked against. And one stood out because he's a friend of ours. We've had him on our show. We've talked to him a lot. Gibby, who's having a good year right now. Your numbers against him, I think you're like five for seven or seven for something. Let me see. You crush him. Does that, do you know that? You're five for seven. Who, who is this? Kyle Gibson. Oh. Uh, Does that he, he was with the sports? twins, right? Yeah, he twins. Was, I didn't know I didn't know what my numbers were off. I think the only thing I, I do remember, I think Hanniger and I went back to back in Seattle off of them. That's the only okay. thing I remember. We'll bring that up to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I didn't I didn't know I faced him that many times. Yeah, he know. you have the you have more hits off him than any other uh pitcher. Like single oh. pitch. I so guess just... I see him pretty well, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. The other one is Brad Keller. Three homers off him. Do you know about that? Is that like if you step in the box against him again, or is that in your head? Like, all right, I see this guy. <laughs> um, I, I do realize that I've had some pretty good success off of Keller. I do remember those. <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't tell. What up? Um, you guys got Musgrove tonight, right? How do you – um? How, how do you prepare for a guy like that? I mean, big, big yeah, old guy, great year. Uh, is it tape? Are you in the box? Do you set the pitching machine to his pitches? What What's your prep? Yeah, I mean, he's had an unbelievable year. Um, he, uh, you know, he kind of mixes really well. He's, you know, he's not really going to get a uh, plethora of the same pitch. He's mixing through the whole bat. I think it's just, for me, just trying to stay over the middle of the plate and, um, you know, not chase him around and just hopefully make some mistake and, uh, you know, be able to put a good swing on a mistake that he makes. Like, who's the uh, who's the Brewers? Who, if you had to pick a teammate, who's picking up stuff on pitchers? Like, who's who's the guy who, if the pitcher's tipping or something, they're gonna pick up on it first? I don't know. I mean, it would have to be one of the guys that have been around, like you know, like Jackie or Yelly or Locaine, Colton. Those guys, just because they've seen so many pitches in the big leagues and they've seen so many pitchers, like those guys pick up on stuff that you know I wouldn't even look for or anything like that just because they've seen so many different uh, guys on the mound. How many uh, – how, how many – well, no, that's not the way I want to start the sentence. Murph, hitting coach, first baseman, what's, what's, what's his – I've done so many breakdowns on him, I, but I don't know what the actual uh, – Murph, the bench coach? Bench coach. Yeah. Might be the most electric, angry guy in baseball <laughs> when he turns that switch on. Is uh, – yeah. Is that just for umpires? Does he save that for just for just for an umpire at the right moment? No, that's for us every single day. Uh, <laughs> Murph has a high energy. Um, he's super competitive, and he expects uh, he expects a lot out of everybody, which I think brings the best out of everybody. But yeah, he definitely uh, that high energy and high motor just isn't for umpires. It's it's for us every single day. He lets us hear it. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Last year. Last year, I made a breakdown about him, and it was because some of the brewers were, like, reaching out, like, hey, do this one, do this one, because he went <laughs> crazy. And then it already happened again this year. So, if you see him, let him know uh, I'm thankful, and I hope he doesn't mind. But it's I will. Great content. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my only other questions tie back into Milwaukee. Are you guys – I mean, you kind of have to be like a little bit of a Milwaukee legend at this point. Like, you kind of got the people's champ vibe going on. I mean, are, are, when you're around town, are you getting, are you hearing bogeys all over or what? No, not even close. This, this, come on. No, this, this isn't, uh, this is, uh, this is Yelich's town. This is nobody else's <laughs> town but Yelich's town. <laughs> down the, I like that. Have you gone down the slide? I asked Colton that. Do you know? Do you... But I actually told Travis yesterday that I want to go down the slide and we're going to go. He said he'd go with me, so we're going. Okay. We want to go down the slide. I think we're getting invited maybe to do the sausage race and then a little slide. If wow. you got to play bets, do you get, who do you got in the sausage I'm gonna race? Have to do my re I'm going to have to do my research on that. I can't just place, you know, blind bets. That's smart. smart. <laughs> Very smart. 
Yeah. I think Ploofy might be in the race with us. And if he is, he doesn't oh, know this. But we're just going to tackle him right away. I don't know if it's legal. But there's, he won't make it five steps. Well, I'll make sure not to bet on him then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's insider. That's yeah, insider. Exactly. Oh, thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, man. We'll let you get to it. Good luck yeah, tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was fun. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Awesome. All right, guys. Have a good one.